It's Linda McPhee's workshop. Here's Linda. And here we go with the crazy lady that plays that crazy music, and we do some crazy stuff on the show. So I'm glad you've joined us. If you haven't joined us before, you might kind of wonder. Those of you that have joined us many times will understand, because we sew and we create and we do interesting things with people and fiber and all kinds of stuff. So to begin the season, I have to always bring my good friend Joan. And welcome, Joan. Thank you, Linda. And I would say you love Slinky, isn't that? I, I do. I think I can still hold the Queen's title. Um, yeah, the Queen of Slinky. Title. Yes, the Queen I think of Slinky. So. Yes, yes, yes. I do. But you do so obsessively. Well, I do, um, and often very quickly if the yes, need arises. Yes, yes. Well, Joan is a school principal, and she does have a lot of other things going, but you find this totally relaxing, don't you? It's the way to escape from everything because there's nobody to talk back to you and you don't have to answer any questions. Exactly. So that is good. In fact, I went to visit Joan last night just to sort of see if she was ready for the show and blah, blah. And she said, well, do you suppose I should have some new slinky for the show? And this was at 9 o'clock last night. And I said, well, you know, whatever, sure. Joan, if you want to. And It worked. You, you started after I left. I did. I did. I went downstairs and put yeah. the jigsaw puzzle together. So how long did you say it took you? Uh, start to finish an hour and a half. <laughs> okay, so we're talking fast and fun. Very the fun. other joy of Slinky, if the viewers haven't worn it, is that it is just so becoming on everybody. You it have it cover your largest point, yes. and then it just flows, flows. straight. Yeah. So we should come out and let them have a look, because um, I find every size, shape, every figure is good. Um, Works with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Very much so. And it's just, it doesn't wrinkle. I mean, it's just... It's just a... It can fall off the hanger and it doesn't matter. Yes. In fact, it doesn't even want no. to be on a hanger. You can sleep in it. Yes, you can, yes, you can sleep in it. I, I think some um, pajamas for yes. loungewear would be... Uh, yes. In fact, you say you've got pajamas. I so, do. Yeah, and they sell them in the very expensive stores. And we make them. True enough. Okay, so I have on the dress, the one-piece dress... And this collar is all in one. We'll show you when we go okay. back to it. But it's all in one, so it's a backwards, frontwards dress. It doesn't have to have any front or back. If I gob on it or something, I can <laughs> turn I'm around thinking. the next day. Mm, my so style. That's okay. Uh, so that is, then I've got on the awesome jacket. And this is one piece. So if you look at this. There's no side seam? No side seam. So, I mean, this is instant again. And this front is just turned back with a little interfacing and top stitched. So it just does make for a very, and of course there's lots of these prints. Right. And you've got on the, it's called the Tea with a Twist. Yes. And it's such a nice one to put on because there's so many different places to put f colors and things. And the other thing is the straight grain is this way. And if you sew that, then you're sewing not on the bias. You normally think, oh, this is bias. No, it's not and, and people worry about sewing slinky, but if you keep it on your table yes. and pin it well to start with, okay. it's just it is. It's right. Let us show some of our models, because we've got some more things. So Leona has been a model for us for a lot of times, and she said, you know, I think maybe I could do this. And this is what I'm finding, is people are dusting off their sewing machine and saying, yeah, could I do this? And you did, and, and it looks great. It's, this is the orange with the same, same dress that I've got with a different neckline. And it could be a T-shirt as well? It could be a T-shirt. You could chop this off and call it a T-shirt if you didn't have enough. Yeah. And, of course, Perfect. we happen to mo do a little jacket to match, which is just finishes it off. So thank you, Leona. That looks great. Okay, let's see who else is coming. So here we have two skirts. And the joy of Slinky is that you can actually layer things. So here's the top. Here's one skirt, and there's the other skirt. So oh. you can wear one or the other. In fact, when we got these two skirts done, I sort of said, well, let's just kind of pull this up and kind of drape it and put a little rose there. And you could have this rose. I mean, it sort of oh. looks like your draperies. Or That's what I'm thinking. We have rosettes all the way around. <laughs> and this rosette is some of this just twirled around and we'll show you again similar to the scarf that I've got on as well so the edge is called lettuce edge and we're going to show oh, you how to do that right that oh, good, cause I haven't done nice, that yet yeah. and the same thing this is what we've done on the shawl with the chiffon the lettuce edge so this is strips of chiffon we'll have to do that in another program too oh beautiful okay it looks good thank you and then here is the layers and I thought you know once you start the layers there's just no stopping that's right so if you look at this we'll talk about what it is it's actually a belt so we won't right. even we'll ignore that so let's just look here so here is the top mm -hmm. then here is one skirt you want to just hold this here's one skirt you're getting a little nervous no okay so leave them on here you. is skirt number two so here's the first skirt okay one then you put one on top of it two two three, three. And, and then, then the top. top yeah and we've just put a very narrow elastic in the waist, just the lingerie elastic, oh, okay. so you don't have a whole bunch of elastic sitting at the waist because you don't need that. So that looks great. Turn around. 
and actually we can pull this down and whatever. And the joy of the slinky again, it'll just, it'll, it'll grow and even shrink and, a little and bit. A perfect edging on that, just that to, is to accent it. Yes, it's yeah. beautiful. Okay, thank you. So let's go back and talk about slinky and what you want to do. So the top that I've got on, and you've got one of these as well, yes. Joan, I know. This, if we look at it, here's the neckline. And the neckline is something I call the funnel neckline, and that's actually on the pattern. So you're going to sew there, sew there. We didn't stabilize that seam because this turns into be a, a bit of a cap sleeve. Like right. it just okay. comes down and over, and I kind of like that. That's so it's not sleeveless. Look. So that's, that's how we didn't stay, or why we didn't. And this, you'll notice, is a raw edge. And so would you have a raw edge on a garment? Well... You would. <laughs> well, I wouldn't leave it as a raw no, edge. No, you have a secret, I'm okay, sure. Okay, I'm going to turn this the right way. And when I wear this, I just tuck it in as much as it needs to get tucked in. And, it's and that way I can have a higher... Edge. Yes, it's a very finished edge. So that's my lazy way of finishing that edge. I would call it efficient. Efficient, that's true. Let me get my glasses on, though, because you can see that we can just top stitch. Here's a hem. All you need to do is just top stitch. Single stitch. Single stitch, but twin needle is a lovely way to finish right. a hem. So just twin needle and you'll get two rows for the price of one. Right, and, and that just makes... I, is that what you've done on yours? I did in here. I did. Okay, so there is twin needle. And that just looks good and looks very professional. The whole object is to make it look like you didn't make it. Exactly. That's it. So in this case, this is a regular shoulder seam. We've actually put a piece of twill tape. And cut the twill tape to your pattern size so you know exactly how long that shoulder's right. going to be. Pin it to the beginning, pin it to the end, and sew that piece of twill tape right into your seam. And that's so, because you're putting a set-in sleeve in yes, this one? Yes, and you don't want that to grow. Right. So that is okay. this. The other thing that's really important with Slinky is some interfacing. And this is the fusible knit interfacing. So, for instance, down the front of this jacket, right. I would put a piece of fusible knit interfacing Iron it on, and it just stabilizes that. All I have to do then is turn that edge. And it stretches. And it doesn't stretch. It, it keeps no, it, it, yeah, holds it, it keeps hot. it Okay, Joan, you want to see how to do that roughly edge. Thank and you. it's so simple. You'll be quite delighted. Okay. I think you'll love this. It might be your new edge on everything. In fact, it could be the edge you do across there. You yes. can do it to the outside. Oh, all right. Roughly. Okay. So we have to then pick. And this is, isn't this wonderful? You can just pick whatever you want. So three, three thread rolled, rolled edge. edge. We've got to take it off automatic so we can change it a little bit. And then we want to add a stitch. Okay, now the size. Okay, so now I can go this one. Yeah, this one. To five. Perfect. Okay, so now what you're going to do is... Just start feeding this. Start three. feeding. And we're doing it with the real stretchy side, so it's really going to kink up, okay. which is going to be great. Yeah. And I always surge standing up. I don't know about you, but it's... I have mine at my sewing machine. People think I'm crazy. And actually, I would cut a little bit off. I would cut some off. So just... Okay. And this is just a sample. So just... And once you get it out there, start to pull it tight. Okay. And just pull it as tight as you can pull it. And what we've got for thread, actually, I should mention, we've got regular thread, and then we've got some metallic uh, woolly nylon in there. This is fast. <laughs> yes, isn't this? And look how it's... I shouldn't say kinky enough, but this is pretty kinky, Joe. Kinky with slinky. <laughs> yes, it is. Look at how that goes. That's quite... So that is a fine, oh. fine hem. It could be a fine... In fact, keep going. This is... Okay. This is... Oh, and faster than fast. Yeah, like you can put that... And the more you stretch it... Yes. The kinkier it gets. You got that. Okay, so can we just pull that out, actually? This is what you would... Okay, let's go back here. And if you wanted to make one of those little rosette things, you would do another piece. You would just surge that off, and we could twirl Roll this it? around. And now we've got ourselves a little rosette kind of a thingy, bub or whatever. This could be on your neckline. This could be down the front. It could just if, we, like if we did this with right sides, yeah, wrong sides, wrong together, sides together. And just did that seam. Oh, yeah. And would you stretch it as you were doing the seam? Yes, because it'll come back. You can see oh, it comes yeah. back. Oh, I'll be doing that one tonight. <laughs> Here we go with another. So actually, I was going to show you this too because it's the latest thing we came up with. It's collots on a slinky. Oh, and that's, that's the collots are big with the back with the passion and no side seam. So no side seam. Yeah. Okay. We've got, got to go because we've got more stuff coming. So don't you go away because we've got exciting stuff coming up.
we're back, and I've got a great friend that I meet so often when I go to the island, Victoria, or Vancouver Island, and right. Muriel, thank you for coming to the show. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for inviting me. It's great to be out here in Edmonton. And you've been an obsessed sewer for years. I have made you? the serger my passion. Okay. It is my passion. Okay. And obviously what you've got on is serged, which is... This is a wonderful thing. You've put wrong sides together. Correct. Just what we were doing, just what Joan and I were doing, and you've pulled it because is this bias then? This is cut on the bias. You okay. cut your bias strips and you can cut them any width you want. So you could make a shrug, a, saw, a shawl, because you could do 3 inches, 5 inches, 12 inches, but as long as they're cut on the Let's bias. Let's look at the back of that. Can we just see? Very nice. Yeah. Looks looking good, looking good. So we've got, well, it's Slinky, too. You don't have Slinky on today, but you're no. a big, big Slinky fan. We teach many, many classes in Slinky, yeah, and all yeah. of our ladies want more Slinky, yeah. more, more, more. Slinky is, slinky is, is easy because Slinky packs, we can travel with Slinky, and yeah. we can accessorize with Slinky. Actually, that's so true. I didn't mention that Joan had on the no side seam pants, and, I mean, that is the no-brainer. I mean, that nose is. is so simple. I mean, she Nine can minutes. Make is that the surgery? That's minutes what we do. Nine minutes. We tell the ladies that it's either uh, commercial or nine minutes to make the slinky pads. <laughs> so with okay. your nose seam, it's even easier. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, it just goes together so well. Yes, but you does. might have, I know you were kind of coveting that jewelry. I just love it. Could I know a little bit more about this jewelry? <laughs> Actually, I would love to know more. strangely enough, it's my daughter who does that. And it's kind of neat because we went to the farmer's market. So right now we're going to have. I'm going to show you the tape of me going to the farmers to market. The she well, she won't come on in the, your family. Well, it kind of runs in the family. Mm. She won't come on the show, but we caught her at the market. So have a look. I will. It's summertime, and one of my favorite things in the summer is farmers markets. So I always go to try and find the most newest, neatest things. This is the biggest farmers market in Western Canada, and there's some neat stuff here. And this, of course, looks very familiar. You might have noticed on the shows I've been wearing this jewelry. You might always also recognize who's in this booth. <laughs> <laughs> and she happens to have a mic on. It's my number one wow. daughter, Alana. <laughs> hello. And this is, hello, Alana. This is how you make your living, isn't it? It is indeed. Yes. Hard and you work. are kind of a gypsy because you do, you mean, I haven't even talked to you. You just got home. Just got home yesterday. Yeah, and I haven't even seen you and I have to come to the farmer's market to visit. But what all is you? Gotta make a living. You, yes, you do. You do. Um, you get all your beans from all over the place. Yep, mostly over in Asia, yes. where I like to spend my winters. <laughs> She's not dumb. She's not dumb. <laughs> so, and then you create all kinds of stuff and fun. I do. And yes. I should, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, I do feel a little responsible for this because when I birthed Alana, I was a big jewelry. I mean, I, I, I was big, yes, but I was making jewelry. And I could not leave yes. my jewelry at home, so I took the jewelry supplies to the hospital. And I was making jewelry as she was just newly born. And I think... I was probably responsible for this because I love jewelry and I love making it. So that's probably what happened. You were destined to do this fact that's dog on and, and you're going to hold it against me all that time. No, you no this is a pretty good way to go. Okay, that's super. Well, thank you. We'll keep on our way and we'll see lots, kind, lots of other stuff. So jewelry is important. You can get the jewelry to match your outfit to whatever. Go to a jewelry maker and then go for it. See you next time. And this is the next time, and we're right back in the studio. I had fun at that farmer's market because, well, my daughter's jewelry is quite fun, and I wear it all the time. It's wonderful jewelry, and it's what we need to accessorize our wardrobes. With yes, Linda. there's lots of jewelry makers, yes. and there's lots of interesting things. You can be as creative with jewelry as you are with fabric. Can I mean, be. absolutely. And our ladies that are sewing in the slinky, they need to accessorize. Mm -hmm. And actually, with the ladies that. They don't need as many career clothes, so accessorizing with the jewelry makes one outfit go longer, well, I more think, changes. I think the kind mm -hmm. of thing that I like about, about my daughter's stuff, of course, is that that can be very dressy or very casual. You can Correct. wear that with jeans or you can wear it all Absolutely. gussied up. Yes, I notice these ladies have it. Let's have a look at theirs. So, again, neutral if you want to do neutral. Um, Probably put a different length of uh, cord yes, on it. You could have yeah, yeah, lines yeah. of outfits. This is just one of the things. That, I mean, she does lots of other ones, but I think they're quite neat, and I wear them a lot. But let's have a look at how this one matches. I mean, I think this is kind of neat. You can pick up the color and match it yes. to your new little accessory, which is kind of neat here. And this is exactly what you've got on. Bias strips, cut of the chiffon, and then sewing them together. Let me get these glasses out of the way. Sewing them together by stretching it, just exactly what Joan and I did. Exactly. With yes. the same woolly nylon with a little bit of sparkle. 
just perfect. So uh, make it a little longer, it becomes a shawl. And a little shorter like the one I'm wearing. Linda's yeah, a shawl. Yeah, we need more. Can you accessorize know. all your <laughs> You've got that. But you've, you've got some more stuff to show us with this. Yes, interview. Yes. So don't go away because we're going to show you more right after this. I'm so pleased to be back with Muriel because I know you are the queen of surging. You just eat and sleep this machine, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I and do. like you make everything. Absolutely everything, Linda. I challenge myself to use the serger and not the sewing machine. Uh -huh. I choose to do things that don't need buttonholes. Right. I do zippers on the serger as well. And I go along with there's no buttonholes, you know that. Uh, but one thing that you just mentioned, speaking of slinky, is that this machine is probably more coveted for doing that cover stitch, cover and stitch the hems on slinky. Hems. We can do it with a cover stitch wide, as we've done here, a mm -hmm. cover stitch narrow, but that's how we hem our slinky. Yes, and on the back of it makes that nice, wonderful. It is the industrial hem, it's what the ladies are looking for, sure how it is. they can have sure it is. what the industry has. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you do it? So, what I've done here is I have brought the, the machine up for cover stitch wide. I've set it up for just the way the machine asks, and I'm simply going to search my hem. Okay, so just a minute, you're sewing from the right side. I was sort of thinking, how are you hitting that hem? And you, you have pinned that, and you have figured out where it is, and you can feel it, and you'd line it up with whatever well, row that's needs correct. to be. That's correct, whatever row. I mean, if it didn't line up, you could trim it off afterwards, too. You can. But, but the ideal thing is to line it up right on the hem. Line it up. You could use soap pins. You can use glue pins. And, and you just let it feed through. Just let it feed through. through. Just on some it. of the slinky with this machine, you can have less pressure. So okay. we're just going to okay. surge that off, and there we are. We have not only... Give it a lettuce edge, yeah, yeah. one hem, two ways of hemming slinky. Yes, very nice, very beautiful. Yes. So it's just, okay, so let me have a look at what all you've done with, with your serger. Well, Linda, I love my serger. So when we were doing that rolled hem here with the, with the fancy and the lettuce edge, yeah, yeah. it also is compatible to a woven fabric. Mm -hmm. So these are table toppers. Sure. So again, we don't need a sewing machine. You're just going to just do, do the rolled roll, hem. And that's what people have been doing with serviettes that's and doing with all exactly. that kind of stuff. Exactly. So there's more years. use for their machine. Sure. Um, as well as gift bags. We've put in zippers. Okay. Using up your scraps. Ladies love to use the stuff from their stash. Oh, you betcha. And even yeah. little itty-bitty pieces. These are called chenille sticks. Okay. I'd like to show you chenilling. Okay, let's talk about chenille because this whole, this whole cushion is a chenille. And those are scraps. I've surged yeah. these, scraps, or these scraps together to make the chenille top. Okay. Okay, okay. So and that's ragging that's is in. What my jacket is with ragging. So it's the same, uh, another uh, form of the And this is all chenille. on the serger? This is all on the serger. <laughs> Nothing okay. to do with the sewing machine. Okay. So if we were right. going to serge our chenille and to make chenille, then Linda, we would go back to the serger. So let's go back to the okay. serger. All right. Let's what I've that. done here is I have marked the first piece. Okay. So while I change this and over... Uh, layers. How many layers have on you got? On that nice white cotton, I have four layers. four layers. On flannel, I have used four layers. Okay. On rayon, I would use six layers. Okay. It and really is just up to the person it to decide. It's, there's really totally. no rules on how many layers you want. So I have developed a fast, quick way of doing chenille on the serger, and I'm going to have the serger on cover stitch narrow. Okay. And I'm going to use only one needle, and I'm going to use the needle in the B position, the okay. center needle position. And for me, I find this faster than any chain stitch that's out there. Okay, so you so just have to take your needle out. Take my needle out. Your needle's out, yeah. And I'm going to put one back in the center needle position. And I think the joy as well is this machine takes regular needles. Absolutely. Isn't that? Because that was joy, always the old Yes, people were afraid of Finding, and finding like a needle. needles and, yeah. So we're just going to use two of the three threads that you see up front. We'll take that one off. We'll rethread the needle and we'll chenille our little heart out. Okay, okay. We were having fun with lettuce, now we can chenille. Okay. So when you say you use this for everything, this doesn't mean that you still don't need a sewing machine. The only Surely. thing I use a sewing machine for, Linda, is a buttonhole. Really? Yeah. And then <laughs> you I use this for everything else. And I can actually make my buttons and my buttonhole, I can make button loops. Okay. So on, like, Slinky, I yeah, have many yeah. outfits where I've made the loop. Yeah, you don't want a buttonhole on Slinky no. regardless. So you've made so, your, yeah, so you I do, do a good, yeah. I use it, and I find that when ladies learn to use their serger more, we in Canada sell more sergers because of the use for the sergers. Sure, sure. So then I have this set up. Now, what I like about this is that with using the clear foot on here, I'm going to do my first center mark, and as you know, on 
So this is looking quite a bit like a sewing machine right now. It's running just like a sewing <laughs> machine. Okay. So I'm going to do one through the bias. That mark was on a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. So now I have the clear foot so on. So here's your straight grain, here's your cross grain, that's the 45, 45 degree, degree yeah. angle. And you marked that? I marked that one. And well, that's now the only one you marked a bit. I'm finished. I can just... Run so I'm going to search to this side and I can use the clear foot. I can see where I'm going. Okay. And I can just search from side to side and we can go and so and on and surge. so on. Let's get back, yes, because I can see that you've done this. So I have searched. This mm -hmm. is ready for cutting. Okay. So then I could cut and I would use my Ofa cutter. And, and you'd you have to put your pieces in there. Yes, you that. would. And then you have a faster idea. Oh, I like this. Uh oh. Oh, we need to put a new battery, oh. new battery, or plug in. But that's basically what you do. That's we've had what we've done. Here for yep. a while, so so yeah. we've cut it yeah. with the, yeah. the uh, strips, or we've cut it with the Olfa cutter. Yeah. And then, wash then it? You, you can wash it. We have a sample over here, Linda. Let's show them that has been washed. This one? This, this one, one here. Okay. So that's the washing machine, one wash. And this is what it looked like before. Correct. Okay. And here we are before and after. So you can use a fluffing brush. Okay. And if I just scrub that with this brush, that's, that's right. going to... You'll start to fluff it up. <laughs> okay. All right. And you Wash can, exactly pretty No, you can enough. make chenille because you're making craft projects. You can do it for pillows. You can do it for yolks. You can do it part... I probably the only thing I haven't chenilled is, sl is slinky. Yeah, I don't know about slinky. I don't slinky. think we no, could. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I want to be Chenille is best in our cotton fabrics. Sure, sure. On Let fabrics. me show you those little ropey things. And we did chenille sticks. They're okay. in here. So we've, here. we've done it. And it's on the purse there. Here we go. This is it. So these are these are using. And your guest yesterday when you did the Lorna Wand, there's our yes. Lorna Wand, yeah, our bling yeah, blings. Yeah, yeah, we did. So that on we the did our chenille sticks. Or we will be doing that on the program, I think. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. There's your chenille sticks, and then you can just shape them. And because it's done on the bias. So now just a minute. How did we get this stick? Let me just just we get back to We sewed multi rows. Okay. And, and instead then, of just cutting through there, you cut through the whole thing. That's correct. Cut it apart. Okay. And you have your stick that you can work with. And this is three or four layers or however many layers you want. Absolutely. And when you wash that, it gets all fluffy. Yes, or you can just fluff Do it I on. sew it on here and then wash it? You can it? sew it on or you can glue it on. The fun that we used to use, our liquid stitch. <laughs> uh -huh, some of our old stuff, you know. You're a woman after my own heart. <laughs> something okay. fast, something creative. So I would just glue that Yes, on. you can. And this is what you've done here? Oh, no, you've stitched. I see I've stitched, stitched those yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. I've done many bags. And then when it washes, it all fluffs up. It'll fluff up. Okay. So, and you may want to glue them on if you're doing a straw hat. Right. I'd like right. to see you next year at the sewing show in your straw hat. With my straw on. hat with that on. Okay. So let me talk just a minute about this one. Now, you have sewn this together with a regular, with your... Chain stitch? Exactly or the, the way the machine is set up right now, Okay, Linda. okay. So and it's all... All your seam allowances to the outside. Correct. And then snip them, snip them about every... Half inch. Half inch. I use the width of my thumb. Okay, that's easy. And then you... And Just gave it this a This is the finish on the front. I mean, that's... that's finished. No, the hem is the same way. This that's is right. it. This is the sleeves are the same way. <laughs> They're too long. What I did, I just folded them back. Yeah. I didn't have to realter them. And pattern. so this is like those people are making those quilts, your neckline edge. I mean, Correct. that makes the most wonderful neckline edge. It's all finished. And it is all finished. Yeah. So that is just a great jacket. Is that In fun? fact, I remember seeing you at the show, and I said, black and white. And I said, oh, we've got these rings over here. And so you came over one. to our booth and got a ring. And the silly part is she took off all her diamonds and put on the plastic ring. I mean, but it looks good. If I love black it. My customers love it. We, we love to accessorize. So that is, that is great. That is great. So thank you, Muriel. It's been thank great. You. And I hope you've got inspired. That serger is a wonderful machine. So go out and check it out. See you next time. To receive the companion book for this series, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call 1-888-McPhee.